What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here. Uh, once again on the live stream. Got an earthquake coming in here just a few minutes ago to the South America region. This is coming off of a 6.2 earthquake. Uh, it has been upgraded here by the USGS to a 6.4 uh, right around the uh, Chile area south of Santiago. Uh, this area did see, it looks like, uh, two earthquakes being reported literally within seconds of each other. Now, this is a little on the concerning side here because uh, the largest earthquake ever recorded was down along this subduction zone here. And we're starting to get a little bit of swarming kicking up with a 5.7 and a 6.4 um, in this area. Just like I say, just happening a few short minutes ago. Um... South America has been awfully quiet in terms of larger magnitudes here recently, uh, specifically within this area of the Peru Chile Trench. The last seven days of 4.5 and above, um, very quiet for the most part through South America. We can pull up the last 30 days, and it does add some more, but most of this activity a little spotty and deeper into the Peru Chile Trench area. But now in our little seismic gap zone, getting in on some uh, good activity currently. Uh, let me see if, uh, unfortunately I can't, I didn't access a Chile station down there. So I may have to add that onto the list of earthquake uh, monitoring stations there. 5.7, I want to check this out here real quick, has been reviewed. So this 5.7 will stand as a legit earthquake. The 6.4 has been uh, reviewed as well by a seismologist. So that's uh, a little on the concerning side to two, have two larger earthquakes like this within seconds of each other. So watch this zone here south of Santiago uh, for potentially larger scale activity. Uh, early, what was it, 1961, the big one? What was that, 9.3, I believe? Uh, I can't remember the exact date. But uh, yeah, this is an area that gets some very, very strong earthquakes here. Uh, we can pull up the earthquake quick catalog here and bring in we'll do uh 7.0 and above i want to show you guys the historical data here in this region since since uh they've been keeping records for the most part and just specifically this area around the uh, santiago chile area southward i'll pull that up here for you guys real quick and show you the uh, earthquakes that have taken place here on this area now, the largest magnitude, 9.5. Okay, I was off a couple magnitudes there. Uh, 9.5 back in 1960 uh, is when that last large earthquake struck here. And that was, uh, that was uh, definitely a, a major earthquake south of Santiago. Kind of in the area where we're looking at. Let me pull up the map again here from the USGS. Let's see what we got. Uh, this is Concepcion area, it looks like. That's going to be yeah, roughly within that zone. Right around here. So the 9.5 struck right around here. A little bit south. Our 6.4 right now and 5.7 striking upstream a little bit. But this area, man, it, it definitely gets a lot of accumulated stress built up in a short amount of time. I'm telling you, that's a pretty good size one uh, uh, that can happen in this area. All up and down the Peru Chile Trench can get some very large earthquakes. So we might want to watch this area pretty closely here, folks, in the Chile area, considering all the movement that we've seen around the Fiji Islands area uh, and the Tonga Trench recently here in the last couple days. Uh, we will cover this and a little bit more in tonight's update. Uh, still a little early, so I'll do that here shortly. But for now, 6.4 coming in to the Chile area just offshore and uh, looks like the 5.7 was a little deeper than the one upstream, uh, which was, of course, a 6.4. So we'll watch this and, uh, of course, report back if anything major changes. But uh, got to remember, this area is a very highly active zone and uh, much a larger activity can take place here in that area. So we'll keep you guys updated. In the meantime, we'll catch you guys here um, in a little bit with tonight's update. Peace out, everyone.